Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 19 of We Happy Few. So, we made it out alive of Havoc Labs. And now we are going to get the cod liver oil to Sally, which is why we originally wanted to go there. I'm gonna take off that gas mask again because I hope I don't need it now. So, I'm just gonna take... I'm gonna be lazy, I'm going to fast travel. And also, maybe I'm going to take a quick nap because we've been tired all the time during our time in Haverhill Labs. I'd really love to know why that particular bend smells of cheese. So, just take a quick nap. Also nice if we can pass the curfew, so... Try not to dream about trains. Okay. The end. So come on out, or you'll miss it. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Okay. Well then, let's go. See Sally. Find out what she has to say now. Okay. It's good that it's not far away from here. Oh no, I think a doctor is onto us. Okay, no, he lost us. Okay, off we go. Good, no one saw us and... Ooh, there we go. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil! Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look. There's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. What? Oh my god. This is... This is taking so many turns. She slept with Arthur's father? <gasps> I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless. And um, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> so what is this old lady doing here? Walking in and out all the time. She wasn't here before. But what? I, what? Oh, wow. Whew. That is the ladder of transit. You're allowed to cross to the parade district. Yeah, thanks. What? What should I have done? Should I have turned around and said, yes, I will. Yes, come with me. We'll go at dawn, whatever you say. I always used to wonder if I'd run out the door after her that day. What would have happened to us? Would we still be friends? Or was the magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? 16-year-old me would never have had the courage to leave home. 
And here I am running out the door when she wants to come with, not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell him myself about her later. I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Is that just another convenient lie? Because I needed a reason to go off Joy, and he was the only one I could come up with? What if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me and love me and need me? Do I have utterly no faith left in anyone? And she'd survive and I'd get killed. A girl like her shipwrecks and the next day she's drinking margaritas on the palm leaves. Yours truly is shark bait. I can't. I just can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is some heavy stuff. <laughs> so, can we go in there? No. I just need to put my thoughts in the right order. I mean, what's happening here? Okay, so... Sally lived with Arthur for a time. And... So, what is this? I would like to... Can I hack this? I want to go into Sally's lab. Let's find out. Really? Why can I... I have a lockpick. Right? I do. I have three bobby pins. I should be able to pick this, but no. I guess we are not as, not supposed to go in there. Oh well. So, I'm really confused now and I'm sure we don't know all of the story. But what? Sally slept with Arsa's father? But why did he say that she's the most innocent person of them all then? I don't know. What happened there? So still. But I think that... I think that it's... I don't know. Um, Arthur had the right to snap. Because... I don't know. I guess he has a lot of anger bottled up for Sally inside. It's a complicated story, I guess. Because on, the one, on one hand he likes her and he's a childhood friend of his, but on the other hand he just she just did a lot of things to hurt him. So when Sally left, was this when... Was this when she um, lived with Arthur and his family? Or like... So, what's... Okay. So we are about to go back to where we started. If I disarm this right now... Nothing would happen to me, I guess, it seems. Oh well, hello there, Bobby. Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. Okay, so do you... We like to work, are we? So they are trying to... So they're, they're turning off another bridge. Maybe because of the joy shortage? That they want to keep everyone isolated to their own islands to turn crazy? Maybe the parade district is preferred with the joy reserves too? So they will get the last of joy so they can be happy the longest? Oh well. I don't like trains, Arthur. Are you joking? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? Who would talk to me when you're gone? Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. 
He's just really rubbish at showing it. So Arthur was on the train? Oh, are we really Percy all along who just, I don't know, to protect himself or something, try to impersonate ah, Arthur? The parade, just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. This looks very nice. This is the first home that looks a little bit different, right? Oh well. I really can't wait to find out, I mean, the whole story. So, I'm... I don't know. I'm not... I can't really say that I am pretty sure about anything. The Fashion Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed. I should see if I can get down there. Oh well. There is so much happening right now. <laughs> Wait. So, I think I want to go to the hatch first, as we always do. Uh, the parade, a model citizen. Enter the design institute. Yeah, okay, so the Design Institute is the one with the hatch. So, let's go there first. Okay, I'm really not sure what's going on here. I mean, on the one hand, it could be that... Oh, this is it. We're already there. No admittance unless you're gorgeous. Or you have treats. Or you are Sally Boyle. If you are here for the before picture, kindly use the service entrance. How dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. He was nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to model. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. Buy me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. Bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. If Quintin sent, you're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. I'm gonna have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself up there. Oh, really? We're going to become a fashion model now? Oh. Let's see if Arthur has a future in modeling. Well, I'm really, I'm not getting to finish my thoughts, am I? So, yeah. So, I have two theories right now. One theory is that Arthur is really Percy. And Percy just imagined. So, Percy just took on, like, the personality of Arthur to blend in better. Because, like Percy said, no one would talk to him except for Arthur. But on the other hand, maybe I'm wrong. And on the other hand, I think, or maybe that Percy um, told everyone that he's Arthur to get on the train instead of him. This is another possibility, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure, because... I don't know. We have established ourselves here as Arthur, but... I mean, there's Ollie, um, who we know from when we were a child. And there's Sally who also should know, right? I mean, Sally should be able to tell if we are Arthur or if we are Percy, right? Oh, it's a compliment machine. Oh, I would have wanted a compliment. So, those are my two theories. I don't know. I'm really excited to find out which one is true, or if it's entirely different. But now, let's go to a photo studio and become a model. I'm sorry to bother, but I do rather need you to stop buggering yourself and open the fucking door. You seem not entirely delighted? Stage fright. 
The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. I do have some scotch. Here you go. What could go wrong? Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I toss the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, interesting, interesting tip. Thanks. Oh, there are a lot of sewing kits, that's good. What's this? The VIP lounge staff from Davy Hackney. Are your pub mates beautiful? Are they famous? No, well then bloody well stop letting them into the VIP lounge. The whole point of a VIP lounge is to keep people out. That's what makes people want to be in it. If you let in any pleb from the village, we might as well call this the parole hovel. Kindly remember this if you wish to remain employed, DH. Fab threats. Well then. Just picked those up too. Hey there. Can we talk or are you working at the moment? Ooh, find linen. I'll take this too. Fuck. Hey there. My pants ripped. Davy will kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. I do have a sewing kit because there were three of them lying around there, but hey, I gotcha. Hey, I want to give it to you. Hey. I just want Here you to know you that I appreciate what you do. Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of new. Got any advice? Try fierce, I'm watching you move. Thanks. So we talked to him before. Unlock with fashionable key. Okay, I think I want to go in here first. No, it needs the photo room key. So, do I have this key? I guess I do. Well, someone threw a fit here. Hey there. If we can just reduce the budget a tad more, I think we could really make an impact. You look like a ghost. You are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up, but Candyman said it was a Sally special, but... But he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. You're turning a bit crazy, but I'll give you what a you life want. Lifesaver. Uh, any advice for the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang bang gesture. They love that. Well, we're definitely going to get famous with all those tips. Thank you. Well, there is a lot of drugs here around. Is this like the partying lifestyle of models? Oof. There are a lot of records here. So, how do we get in here? How do we get the photo room key? So the show must go on. Is this... Hmm. Okay, we don't need to go in there anyway. Hmm. The crowd's restless, dearie. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just strut to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly! We'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and on your mark, and work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. Oh, well. I'm fierce. I'm the fiercest. I'm not sure 
never run sexy enough for my shirt. Oh, let's go. Let's do this, Arthur. Let's How throw does it the face. One of the beautiful people. Well, I think this went well. Hey there. Hopeless. You're utterly sung charisma. I'm not surprised you're homeless. Thanks. Say, Mr. Hackney. It's a bit late, and I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favor. Here, get some beauty sleep. Not that it'll help. Oh, so the photo room key is the key to our new hideout. I wouldn't say that Arthur is without charisma. He just uses it differently to get past bobbies or something like that to intimidate them. So, you're not without charisma, Arthur. This is the nicest bed that we've seen in a long time. Suitcase. Polarity device. Oh, is this what we needed to... What's this? Hair bow. Davy, darling, you wanted to know why I seem off today, but you already know why, even if you think I don't know. Deirdre returned a hair bow to me that she'd found by the bed. She thought it was mine, though I never wear shot rose. I wanted to die. I absolutely wanted to die. You've been in our bed with Pris, haven't you? No one else can pull off shot rose. How could you? I decorated that bed. To think of you and Pris on my parachute silk sheets? How can I ever trust you again? I am doubling up my joy today, but don't assume that my smiles mean you haven't broken my heart. Diana. P.S. Please return my Nicolite Bearer records and my good tweezers. We're finished. P.P.S. I'm going to eat an entire cupcake. I don't care what you say. Well. There's a lot of drama going on here in the parade. So. What's this? What's in here? Ah, workbench. Blueprints! Ooh, another blueprint for an electronic truncheon. Didn't we know how to craft this already? The blueprint for a sandwich? I definitely want to know how to make a sandwich. What do we need for that? Bread and victory meat. Whoa. Guess it's easier to come across victory meat than across bread. So, what's over here? It's a shock grenade, that's good to know, and a berserk dart. Good, as well. Ah, here is the hatch. Good. Okay. Let's visit back here. Very well. It's here. Warning! Heat will melt wax-based cosmetics. Search freezer locker. Oh no, I don't think I need anything of this. Okay. So, it's time to walk around the parade. I wonder if we could be if we would be able to um visit Arthur's old apartment maybe. That would be so awesome. I would love to see how Arthur used to live before. Also, I really like the parade. I like the looks of the parade. There seem to be more of those things in the middle of the... the bobbies are dressed in red here. So, where's the... where do we have to go to next? The broadcast tower. That's a long way. Yes, we need to. Oh, so it doesn't see us here. Can we get inside the buses? No. So what are these buses for if they're not in use anymore? Hmm. So as long as we walk on the sidewalk, this thing doesn't notice us. I seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. What's this? Pass the document control checkpoint. Oh, okay. So we need to go here. Oh no! It's a downer detector. So, I guess we need to take some joy now. I think it's time for it. I think it doesn't really leave us a lot of choice here. But I wonder, we got one pill from Sally that's supposed to make us look like we're on joy? Where is it? 
now in our inventory. I mean, where would it be in, if not in the drugs section? But guess we gotta take it. Well, that feels entirely too good. I'm glad yes. I'm not a Bobby if that's how well they're taking care of Bobby poppers these days. Okay, so I need to. Hello there. Spiffing weather. Did you hear? Foggy Jack got another one. Last night. Best stay in. So he doesn't care that I'm just taking this key card. Oh well. <gasps> oh dear. Now I'm extremely glad I'm not a Bobby. Whoops. Oh well, you're still alive at least. Oh no, he oh, died well. Going here. That's too bad. Workers only be at this point. Um, I'm a little bit unsure where to go to now. Oh wait, I can disarm the traps. Hey there. Oh, okay. So he doesn't mind. I need to get in there, but how? Do I have to go through a vent or something? Maybe I can go downstairs on the other side. I'm gonna be off my joy soon, and that definitely won't make him happy. I'm just gonna hide in those bushes. I don't think I can do this as long as these poppers are popping out constables. Well, okay, I think I'm going to wait here until the joy wears off. Or the after joy effect wears off. Okay, here we are again. So, let's go here. I'm gonna disarm the traps here too. It's funny that no one seems to care that I do this. Can I access this now? Yes, I do. Well, then let's go in here. And... It's sloppy of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? That's true. I don't know, I think technology oh, killed your colleague. Oh, you not Pick what you can carry easily. Oh well, it's time. Oh, I've got a lot of access, so I can drop this one. It's the weakest. Axes are really heavy. So, let's press the button. Open the shutters. Disable the multi-link pumps. Huh. Now we can go in here. The police force seems to be out in uh force. Oh with a cat druggy. Oh no. You're only making it harder on yourself. Oh, that's because I'm trespassing. Well, they didn't see me, that's a good thing at least. Okay, go away. Be off with you then. Yes, that's true. Okay, so where is he going? Yes, he's going around the corner. I think I'm going to take him out now. Yes. Very good. We won't be able to go in here. Let's see what this does. Ah, oh, it's a key card. Motelin maintenance key card. That sounds good. And a workbench upgrade kit. We never upgraded our workbench with the first kit, did we? Hmm. Let's 
So, what's this? Well, we can access it. That popper too. looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. Ah, this is where we need to go. Yeah, that figures. I mean, it doesn't look like we need, can go in this direction. So, ooh. I'm gonna need my gas mask again. Brilliant. Oh. Could I have? Ah, I can harvest the molten in here. Very good. Oh no. <laughs> Forgot that it's a little bit noisy. Oh! They're here. That's not nice. Oh god. Oops, I'm dying. Sorry. It's not personal. You can't hide from me. I have no idea what this I don't think that's working does. anymore. Yeah. Okay, so at least one down quietly. Oh dear, Flip that's not working too. anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. Let's disarm some traps now. Now we should be able to. Well. well, to be honest, I don't even know. I don't even know where we're supposed to go. Oh, okay, so. Ah, I get it. I get it. We needed to open up the, the gates outside. Wait a second. This was. Yeah, this was the exit. Hey there. Ah, oh, maybe take up the gas mask again. And goodbye. No, it didn't. Wait. Oh, I still have to be in there? So, where am I supposed to go? Oh, ah, now I'm able to go through there. Now I get... Ew. A lot of people tried this there. before, it seems. All that bother, and I don't even have ah, to play. Like. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs uh, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie. Well, so another quest. Well done. Okay, is this our main objective now? To go to the science thing? I'll need to get into the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research to get a Framistat so I can open up the quarantine blockade. It's hard to miss. It's got a huge arc right lab sign on top of it these days. Oh, okay, so we need to go there first. Well then, let's... So where exactly is this? Hmm. House of the Future.
I would like to know what's in here. Oh, ah. Need to learn to walk some stairs. will be like 20 years into the future. That would be the year 1984. Yes, it sounds like a very long way away, doesn't it? But 1984 will be closer than you think. At the Wellington World's House of the Future. You can it's exactly the same, because why change it? Joy in the future. Oh well. No, I think I have enough jackals now. Fly with your own peeper jetpack. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. Fashion in the future. Delicious. Now the inventors at the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research Spray on nylons. Sorts of hmm. Sounds useful. We'll have typewriters that Play type music and make phone them. calls. And imagine being able to listen to your own music That sounds like a good use of those boxes. In phone booths. Yes. You say it, this types it. Player. Hmm. Just bring your favorite records along when you go oh, to spin in your that's, flying that's car. That's nice. It also sounds like a good idea. And of course... Oh, I can't take that book. That's too bad. So, and what is this? Let a machine clean your house. Oh, it's a jubilator for vacuuming. Can you drive it too? You will need really huge houses then. Swift Laboratories, the amazing perpetual motion machine open to the public. Workers only. Hmm. Listen to Uncle Jack wherever you go. No thanks. Oh, we can't go in there. I would like to know what's happening here. Now, if I were to disable the quarantine gates, oh, where would I be? If it's not down here, I bet it's in that office. Oh, hello. How lucky! That's exactly we where need we needed to go. Still a lot of on so, is there anything useful in here? Are there any notes I could use? Hmm. Will someone please install the pipe valve that's sitting in the shower? Some of us would like to take a shower, the rest of you, frankly, smell bared. I see someone's in the calf. If you don't have anything pressing to do, will you kindly bring me up some tea? Nope, not. I'm not working here. Oh, vinegar. We don't have that yet. Dear Dr. Swift, please do not store your snacks in this area as employees are complaining about the stink. Well, what, what does Dr. Swift like to eat? Oh. Hmm. I think we did a good. I think it was a good path. Let's go. Locked, of course. Can't have the staff running in and out asking questions, can we? I'm solving a very difficult equation. Leave me in peace. Apparently Confucius was wrong. The way in is not by the door. Someone please send Hargreaves up here. I can't be down on the floor all the time chasing people. Hmm. So it's not through the door. Well, maybe it's through a vent. Or... Oh, maybe it's over these things. The question is how to get up there. Who are you? No one, I'm no one. Just ignore me. Hmm. So is there any access to these walkways up there? I don't know. But there's another room over there, and I would like to see what this is doing. Control room. Well, that is definitely a good place to start looking. Hmm. Okay. Do not point the cannon at my window when I'm not looking. Arkwright, keep sublimator cold, produces toxic motylene gas when overheated. Do not use the electrowave stimulator. Causes and consciousness need to be recalibrated. I have removed the battery in case you lot can't read. Keep machines separated. We don't want any chain reactions. Keep hot flash away from electric shock. Hot flash is unshielded. Well, what's this? How do I get up in there? That glass looks fairly solid. Might need a gun to break it. Or a cannon. There does seem to be a rather large cannon here. I'd have to rotate it, but it is on a circular platform. Has anyone 
seen our graves lately in the past week. Well, that's another way. So, do not touch console. Machines are not working. And what's this say? Do not drink tea at control panel Anya, unless you want to be electrocuted. Hmm. So, what am I supposed to do? Rotate 90 degree button. Not what working. does this do? I better go downstairs and see what's wrong with it. Oh, so this is the cannon. Select cannon button. Select. Oh no, I really have to go down there now? So. No, they all wear different. They, they don't wear the right thing. I don't have something to put on like this, do I? Because if I put on those clothes. Oh no, I'm not just passing anymore. Well, that's good. Well, hello there, I'm working here. An electrowave stimulator. What does it do? I suppose it stimulates electrowaves. That doesn't sound right. Seems to be missing a battery. Hmm. Okay, so does this need a power cell too? I mean, this looks more like a cannon than anything else, does it? Okay, but it seems like we need this or a lot more. I think we need to look at all of it. This seems to turn mottling crystals into gas. A lot of gas would charge up that cannon. I'll probably need some sort of valve handle to unblock this, I think. What about this? This seems to be in operating condition. Okay. It's a prototype for some sort of torch you use in the kitchen? Doesn't seem to have all its bits. I wonder if I could find something around here. These machines don't seem to be in tip-top condition, do they? Well, this looks definitely like a big gadget to have in your kitchen. Look for a fancy battery. Isn't this just like a normal power cell? No. Well. But since we uh, can walk around here as we please, it's a little bit easier, I guess. Hello there, fellow co-worker. Do you have those numbers for George yet? Dr. Swift seems to have some really smelly snacks, because those papers are hanging everywhere. Oh well. We can't run with all this stuff. Hmm. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Uh, I think maybe we will lose some weight when we drop this battery. And see, it wasn't so bad that I left my working suit behind, because now we needed it again. So. Okay, so it just doesn't just didn't seem to be heavy. Hmm, what am I going to drop? What am I going to drop? Maybe one of the X's. Okay. So let's get to it. Hello there. This could be useful. Just quickly gonna take this. No, there's no need to be suspicious of me. So I'm doing your work here by the way. Just saying. Um ah, I think we need to go in here. <laughs> no peeing in the shower. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. So we need both of those because we need the tool to fix the handle, I guess. Okay, let's repair it. Alright, let's see what I can do with the console now. Can I throw away this now? Let's try. You have someone named Hargreaves. I haven't completely lost my mind, have I? Well, I don't know who this Hargreaves might be, but... Okay, so what's happening now? What's happening if we rotate this? I think it's the wrong direction. Okay. 
Okay. Um. So the hot flash should go here. So I don't know in which direction this moves. And the cannon. Everyone holding each other a wet blanket around. Do we really here. have to do this? Oof. Well then let's heal up. I was just playing around a bit with those toys. Well that didn't really do a lot. Hmm. So I'm thinking I don't know, I can't move anything except for the hot flash, the moisturizer, and the cannon. Wait, maybe we should read. Keep hot flash away from electric shock. Hot flash is unshielded. Do not point the cannon at my window when I'm not looking. Well, I want to do that though. Keep the sublimator cold. It produces toxic motilin. Do not use the electrowave stimulator. It causes unconsciousness. Needs to be recalibrated. Keep machines separated. Well, that didn't work out, did it? Do I have to turn something else? I don't know. Well, we will try to figure this out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.